Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Uh, in today's episode I'm just going to start off over here by the Ghast Farm. So I built this a few episodes ago now, and somebody let me know down in the comments how to improve the rates of this farm. So as you can see, I've actually got some cactus here now, so I'll just jump down here so you can get a bit of a closer look. So before, I had a wither rose every third block, so everywhere where there's a cactus it used to be a wither rose. But somebody let me know down in the comments and said that I can put a cactus every other um, wither rose and just like alternate all the way down. So I've destroyed a wither rose here and placed a cactus, then here I've kept the wither rose, then here I destroyed it and put a cactus. So it goes wither rose, cactus, wither rose, cactus, all the way down. Then it alternates on the second row. So this side it goes the same. So wither rose here and then a cactus, wither rose and cactus. Then it just alternates all of the way down to the other end. And I've done this for all of this. And this is just because the cactus kill the gas a little bit faster. So I'm getting better rates from this farm because the gas are dying faster. So I get the drops and then more gas can spawn in. So this thing was producing about one stack and ten gas tiers per hour. And now it's producing about three and a half stacks an hour. So that's more than I'll probably ever use. But I am going to come over here and AFK a few times. Mostly for the gunpowder because that's always useful for rockets and TNT. But the gas tiers will be useful for some potions eventually. So the farm that I want to build today is a wool farm. And I'm just coming over here to the mob farm that I built quite a while ago now. I think it was like the second or third episode of this series. I don't think I've been here on camera since I uh, finished building it. So the reason I'm over here is because I need some wool. Uh, this is what I'm going to use to build the farm. And I had loads over here because I used to AFK and get a lot of string. Uh, then I just used to turn all this string into wool. So I've got a few double chests full of it over here. I've also got quite a lot of gunpowder still left over here and some other things. Just some useless things over here. Uh, loads of bone meal. I've actually got loads of bone blocks as well in these chests. But the reason I wanted to show this farm quickly is because it's actually stopped working. So this farm's pretty simple, it's just some spawning platforms here. Uh, it's all dark because I've got a roof above the farm. And then there's some buttons on the side of the blocks. So all the mobs used to spawn, and then see the buttons as a full block, and then they'd just walk down, then they'd fall down there and die, and then the minecarts would pick the items up. But for some reason, in one of the updates, the game changed. So now the mobs no longer see the buttons as a full block. So this farm stopped working. And I think to fix it, all I've got to do is replace the buttons with some trapdoors. But that's going to be quite a big project because there's a lot of different spawning platforms. And I'm going to have to remove all of the buttons and then place trapdoors there. So I'm definitely going to have to come back here and do that at some point. But for now, I'm just going to take this wool. And I'm going to head to the farming area. So I've already got an area ready for this farm here. It's going to be pretty big, so the farming district here is 128 by 128. And as you can see, this sheep farm is going to take up a lot of that space. I've also got some materials ready over here. So the full shulker box of wool. I've got some glass, and then I've got all of the different coloured dyes. Because I'm going to be dyeing all of this wool and all of the glass to whatever colour the sheep is going to be. So I'm going to have white here. And then I think like light grey, and then grey, and then black. And then I'm just going to have all of the different colours all of the way down. And then in the last chest, I've just got lots of iron. I got the iron farm in the last episode, which just produces way more iron than I'm ever going to need. But this is for stuff like shears and minecart hoppers and stuff like that. I've got plenty of hoppers, a little bit of wood for some chests. And then the redstone here is pretty simple. You just need one observer, one dispenser and one redstone for each of the different farms. Okay, so I just finished me recording this first little section here, and this is for all of the white sheep. And I watched a clip back, and I don't really think I explained how to build it very well. So I'm just going to build the second section here, and hopefully I can explain it a little bit better this time. So you can see how this farm works. I've got some sheep in here, and there's some grass blocks around, and as you see here, once the sheep eats the grass underneath its feet, the dispenser will trigger and then it will shear the wool off the sheep. Then down here I've just got some things to pick up all of the wool and it all just goes to this side. And so far I've got almost two stacks of white wool. 
So I'm going to start building the second little section here. And I'm going to make this one out of light grey wool because this is going to be the light grey wool section. So all I'm going to do here to start off is build a little 5x5 five five here. I'm going to leave all the blocks in the middle clear and this is going to be too high. So the next step is to go underneath here and I'm going to place 8 blocks of grass here. And I'm going to leave the gap on this side. And this is because I want the dispenser to go above this block right here. So I'm going to get the observer block next. Then I just need to place it facing into that grass block. So if I jump and place it, it's facing into this block right here. So next up I'm just going to break this wall block right here above the observer. Then place a block on the back of it. So now if I head back up here, I can just place some redstone dust right there. Then I need to get a dispenser. And then put the dispenser on top of the observer. So that's all of the redstone in place and now I'm just going to place the glass blocks around here and this does have to be glass blocks because if you place some solid blocks on top of the grass and then the grass isn't going to spread to the middle block once the sheep has eaten the grass there so this does have to be glass blocks. So what I've done now is just put a chest at the end and then I'm just going to have a line of hoppers running all the way down to here and then I'm going to place a minecart hopper on top like I've done with all of these. So putting the minecart hopper in place is actually really simple. So I'm just going to come underneath this block here. And this is the grass block where the sheep is going to be standing. And I'm just going to place a minecart rail there with the minecart hopper on top. Break the rail. And then I can just place some blocks around here. I'm just going to use glass. And this is just to stop the minecart from moving out of place. I've almost done now I just need to put some shears in this dispenser here so I'm gonna put nine shears in there that should last quite a while but now and again I am gonna to have to come around and put another nine shears into every single dispenser it's gonna take a while because there's gonna be a lot of these farms yeah I'm gonna put nine in for now and the last thing you need to do here is to put the sheep inside the farm and these things just don't like to fall down the gap so I'm gonna do this in a second but you actually want to dye the sheep before you put it inside the farm. And that's because, as you can see, all of the sheep are sheared all of the time. Now as soon as these grow their wool back, the dispenser will harvest the wool straight away. And you can't actually dye a sheep once it's been sheared like this. So you need to make sure that you've dyed the sheep the colour that you want it before you put it inside the hull. Okay, so I've got this thing inside here. And that's pretty much this farm done. I just need to get some trapdoors and put the trapdoors above here just like this. And this is just to stop anything from getting inside the farm. You don't want any wolves getting inside and eating the sheep or anything like that. So this is just to keep the sheep safe. So each module only takes a couple of minutes to build. And I'm going to go ahead and build four different modules for all 16 different colours. It's going to go all the way over to that side. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and do all of that off camera. Okay, so I've got all of the farms in place now. All four for all of the 16 different colours. And this was actually one of the easiest farms I've probably ever built. It only takes a couple of minutes to build each of the little sections. The only really difficult part is getting a sheep in here, but even that isn't too hard. So this thing's just going to keep running every time I'm in the area. I've got my AFK spot over there, I'll probably stay there overnight. And I'll probably have to come back every couple of weeks and just replace all of the shears in the dispensers. But that's not really a big deal because I've got plenty of iron. And I didn't actually use as much as I thought I was going to use. So I've still got quite a few blocks of iron here and loads of hoppers. But I'm actually going to be using these for the storage room. And this is where the storage room is going to be. So I've built a big sheep head here. And I like the colours on this side from the red onwards, but I think I might change the brown and the, uh, I think this is light grey. On this side I might change it out for like orange or something. But this is where the storage room is going to be, so I'm just going to go in here. And then this is going to be the way down, and then I'm going to make a way up on this side as well. So if I head down, I've dug out a little bit of area, but it's going to take a while to dig the rest of it out. I'm going to go and get my beacon. So I need to dig this all the way to the other side. Then dig this down all the way to the start. You can see above here, this is where all of the items are going into the chest. So I'm just going to have a load of chests down here. I'm not really too sure how I'm going to decorate it yet. But I will show this off at the end of the episode once it's done. 
Okay, so before I go and finish the sheep farm, I'm over here in the nether. And this is where I do all of my mining for ancient debris. So I usually just mine out like 300 blocks, place loads of TNT, and then blow all of the TNT up, and then I just go around and uh, take all the ancient debris that gets exposed. And I'm actually kind of running out of space down here because I've blown up so much of the nether. So after today, I might have to go and find a new place to go mining for the stuff. I tried to do a mining session for Ancient Debris every episode, but I actually forgot to do it in the last one, so I'm going to do it here. Uh, this is all of the TNT I've got left over, so this used to be a full shulker box. Now I've got three stacks left, so I think I'll just use the rest of this. It shouldn't take too long. So I think there's a space over there, and it's like the last space around here where I can actually do this. So I'm just going to dig a big tunnel, then blow it all up, and we'll see how much Ancient Debris I can get. From all that TNT there, I only got 29 ancient debris overall, which isn't that good really, I usually get more than that, but I'm just going to put it in my valuable shulker here, so I've got 44 overall, and then uh, a little bit of neverite ingot and neverite scrap as well. And I was just wondering what Y level is best to mine for neverite in the nether, so usually I stay at Y level 13. But today I went to Y level 12 and I got quite a lot less than I usually would. So I was just wondering if it's better to do it higher up, maybe at like Y level 16 or something like that. So if anyone knows like what's the best level to do it at, just let me know down in the comments. Okay, so I'm back over here at the sheep farm and I just went ahead and finished this overnight. So I've done all of the storage room now and as you can see, I've tried to keep all the colours in the walls here. So whatever coloured wool I want, I can just run to that colour, so if I want some blue wool, let's go to the blue section, and there we go, I've got plenty of blue wool. And I did actually AFK here overnight, so most of these chests have quite a lot of wool in them. And I wasn't really too sure how to decorate this place, so I just decided to use some quartz in the roof and in the floor. I think it looks quite nice with all the different colours, but I didn't really want to bring too many different blocks and stuff into it, so I just kept it quite simple. You can see as well that I've used the coloured concrete here for whatever section it is. So I've got some brown here, and I've got the brown stained glass, you can't really see it, and some sea lanterns behind there. And I'm quite happy with how this turned out, I didn't really plan it in a creative world or anything. I just started putting some blocks down in survival, and this is the first design that I came up with. And I made a change up here as well, so I've just put some lanterns underneath some carpets in the corners of all of the farms here. And this is just to try and stop some mobs spawning on here. I don't want any mobs spawning in this area if possible. So wherever I can hide a little bit of light in, I will try to. So I've managed to check off a lot of different items in the checklist here. So the walls, carpet and beds chest. I've collected one stack of all of these different items thanks to the wool farm. So I've put all the items in the chest and I've turned the two lamps on. And the chest above here is the glass and banners chest. So I've gone ahead and crafted all of the different banners here. These only stack up to 16. And then I've got the stack of Illager banners and the Magenta banners that you find in the end as well. But there's actually one that I forgot to add to the checklist when I created it a while ago. And that's the banners that you find in Woodland Mansions. So I've just named a piece of paper here called Mansion Banner. I think they're in the bedrooms of Woodland Mansions. So I'm going to have to go exploring at some point and see if I can get 16 of them. Uh, but I need to get all the glass for this chest anyway, so I can't check off that chest today. So now overall we've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of the lamps checked off. So there's still quite a long way to go, I think there's 32 chests overall, including these two here. 
So I've made a little bit of progress, but there's still a lot more farms I need to make and a lot more grinding that I need to do to check off a lot of these items. But that is where I'm going to be ending today's episode. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and leave some comments down in the comment section for what farms you want to see me build in this series because there's a lot more farms I need to build and if you suggest one, I might build it in the next episode. And I will see you all next time.